beautiful scene out there. We haven't seen too many beautiful scenes this week when it comes to our weather. I know, it's so gorgeous over the weekend. That's the last time we saw the sun, right? We've had clouds and cool air and even rain since. I do think we'll get at least some peaks of sun trying to break through in the coming days. So that'll be nice. And that'll also help boost our temperatures just a bit. You can look, though, at the waters that are coming up in some of the streams and creeks. This is behind the Elkin Library, where, yes, the rains today, close to an inch in many communities, are definitely filling our streams and our creeks, and they're going to be continuing to come up. Also, temperatures, they're not coming up fast enough, are they? It's the second day in a row that we have had a record low maximum, meaning the coldest high temperatures on this date, both yesterday and today's date. 58 degrees this afternoon. That breaks the old record of 62 for a high in 1965. The average high is 85 degrees. I've got some 80s on the seven-day forecast. We're going to have to wait a couple of days, though. I'm optimistic we'll get into the mid to upper 60s tomorrow, mid to upper 70s on Thursday. I hope to get over 80 degrees by Friday and perhaps into the mid 80s by Saturday. So the temperatures are going up. Rain chances are going down, right? We've got another good day of wet weather tomorrow, scattered showers, and then should see some mainly late day showers and thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. And notice the rain chances dropping off some by Saturday. It's still cool tomorrow. Thursday and Friday, the muggy air starts to return. It's a little bit steamy out there. And then for Saturday, the first day of summer, it's going to feel like summer. We'll have the heat, the humidity, and yes, a few late day storms. You can see how we're going to have increasing humidity in the coming days here. Pretty comfortable out there today as far as dew points go in the 50s. We're going to see those climbing into the mid-60s closer to 70 by Thursday and Friday. That means the temperatures have to come up. We have temps right now in the low to mid-50s across the area. So 57 in Winston-Salem and Martinsville as well as uh, Asheboro. We've got 53 right now in Galax and 55 in North Wilkesboro. We still have that dang northeast wind and it is going to continue because it's moving around an area of low pressure and as long as we have a northeast wind we are locked into what we call a cold air damming event meaning that cold air is dammed up against the mountains and yeah it's creating some of the moisture and some of the lift and we're going to change the wind direction here it looks like easily by thursday so that alone will help us warm up We've got rain pushing through. You can see it from Winston-Salem out toward Yakimville. Heavier rains, too, from Moxville south down toward Lexington. And then a little farther to the north, you see the wet weather as well moving along the Virginia border. And we do anticipate that the rain starts to lift in that direction by late tomorrow. Heaviest rains today, Wilkes, Yakin, Davie, Forsyth, Davidson County, some one to two inches of rain. We're going to add to that tonight, tomorrow, and then less rain expected by tomorrow night, but easily we could see another half of an inch to an inch by tomorrow morning and into tomorrow afternoon. And notice how a lot of that again is poised up a little bit farther to the north toward the Virginia line. You see the rain overnight, right? And then early tomorrow. Notice by late tomorrow afternoon, there's less of it. <laughs> so that is good. The rain chances are going down as we go through the day tomorrow, 50% by late day. Temperatures should come up a touch in the mid to upper 60s. That'll be a whole lot nicer. And then for the mountains, high temperatures that are in the 50s. I know it's not 80s, but at least we're headed in the right direction. We'll look for some 80s to be in here hopefully by Friday. First day of summer, feels like summer, Father's Day. Maybe our driest day, but also one of our hottest at 88 degrees.